Yeah, good day YouTubers, Tinker O'Toole, again here with another video. Today I'm going to talk about some of the pro saws that are available from Still and how much horsepower they put out compared to how many cc's there are. Now, there is a bit of variation between them and an example would be if we look at the smallest pro saw like an MS261, it's 50 cc's. It has a horsepower uh, of four. MS362, 59 cc's, 4.6 horsepower. MS462, 72.2 cc's, has six horsepower. MS500i, 79.2 cc's, 6.8 horsepower. MS661, 91.1 cc's, 7.3 horsepower. And the big boy of all, MS881, 121.6 cc's, 8.7 horsepower. Then if you sort of break that down a little bit more, uh, if you look at a MS500i, it's got, it works out that it has 11.6 cc's per horsepower. So, and then it's got a power to weight, power to weight ratio of 1.2 uh, kilogram per, or per kilowatt. So it's the most powerful saw in the still ranged based on its CCs and how much kilowatts it puts out for that. None of the other saws will match that 1.24 kilograms per kilowatt power to weight. Plus, if you were to divide, as I said before, if you divide uh, the, uh, what have we got here? If you were to divide the horsepower into the CCs, you'll get a figure. So an example would be on the 500i, it's 6.8 horsepower. If you divide 6.8 into 79, you'll get 11.6 that's the lowest figure out of the whole lot of them. The only one that comes close to that is the MS462. Uh, if you divide six horsepower into 72.2 cc's, you'll end up with 12. And the worst one is the MS881. It's 8.7 horsepower and it's 121.6 cc's. That comes at 13.9. But the worst saw in the still range, it's not a pro saw, but the worst saw, is a little gem, the MS170. It's only 30.1 cc's, 1.7 horsepower. So if you divide 1.7 horsepower into 30.1 cc's, you'll get 17.7. So that's a really high figure, quite high. So it's 17.0 cc's for every one horsepower. Big difference from the MS500i, which uh, works out uh, 11, 0.6 cc's per one horsepower so yeah it's just a little bit of an insight that if you're going to buy a professional saw uh, there are quite a few out there a really good professional saw that a lot of arborists use is the ms261 it's a great little saw with lots of horsepower in it and the next one a lot of people really do love the 462 and the 500i and the forest saw, the MS661. And the big daddy of all, MS881. I would never see myself ever buying an MS881. I could go out and get one tomorrow if I wanted to. But personally, I've absolutely got no use whatsoever for such a big saw. Anyway, that's just some interesting information. Someone was just asking me what saw would I buy if I was a professional and I said, well, you know, if I was going to buy three saws, I'd have the 261, the 500i, and, oh, look, probably you can get away with those two saws, uh, yeah, because you've got a good combination, and probably an MS, uh, or could be a, a 200 or something, with a top handle, uh, that'd be for using in a cherry picker, something like that there, one of those top handle saws. There's a few different models out there, I think 1.9 something, and then MS200 something. So, yeah, those top handle professional saws. They're only small in CCs, but they don't need to be big because they're only uh, for arborists 
uh, chopping branches off before they get into the big stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.